Psychology is an extremely interesting degree programme. It's the scientific study of the mind and behaviours. You get an insight into how your mind works and how it's different from your brain. Let me give you an example. Your brain is an organ, very much like your kidneys, your heart, your liver. Any surgeon can open you up and touch any of those organs. However, your mind, not so. Your mind is made up of your own values, beliefs, uh, your personality, your decision making, and your level of cognitive intelligence. So getting to study that, getting to see why people act the way they do, behave the way they do, that's hugely interesting. You will study across three years of a degree programme with 12 modules in most years and you will be studying anything from introduction to psychology and it's built on nicely across the three years. All your introductory modules are in year one to bring you into what is child psychology, what's the psychology of development, how does an adolescent develop differently from a child and an adult? In year two, you'll be stepping it up a little bit. So we'll be looking at forensic psychology, psychology of gender and sexuality, applied criminal psychology and educational psychology as an example. In year three, you get to study your thesis. So what is it about psychology that you want to study as a speciality? And that will provide a foundation for postgraduate work or indeed for a career in psychology after your undergraduate degree. What is unique to the psychology uh, programme is firstly and foremostly this location. You're on the grounds that has a wonderful and wide and varied history. You're centralised right in the middle of Leinster. So for those of you who don't want to have to travel to Galway or Belfast or Dublin or Limerick or Cork, you're in a wonderful area that is serviced by rail links and bus links. Then apart from that, there's our staff. For instance, one of our staff, Dr Candice Condon, last year won a Teaching Excellence Award. So that makes us extremely distinct. All of our staff have PhDs and are published in psychology so they're bringing to you the expertise of actually working in psychology as well as teaching. The core skills that students develop on any um, undergraduate psychology degree programme should be their ability to critically evaluate. What I mean by that is that you don't accept anything as a proof, that you debate, that you think for yourself, that you argue a point, that you learn that within psychology there's there's no such thing as black and white. Everything is grey and susceptible to questioning and the finding of pure evidence to back up your argument. Other core skills that you will get is insight. The ability to be able to understand your own personality, where it came from. Did you learn your personality or did you genetically inherit your personality or was it a mixture of both? How do other people's personalities affect you? What way do you operate in relationships with your family, with your siblings, with your partners? It will allow you insight into so many aspects of people's minds, from the criminal mind, to the child's mind, to the mind of a narcissistic individual, to the mind of a psychotic. Once a student has an undergraduate degree in psychology, they have a number of avenues open to them. Some of you may wish to stop at that level, maybe forever, maybe temporarily. If that's your wish, you can use your undergraduate degree to enter the career place, such as the Army, the Defence Forces, the Gardaí, Special Needs Assistant, or an assistant psychologist within the HSE or somebody's private practice. You may want to work for the Samaritans or Bernardos. That's just a small snapshot of where you could go with an undergraduate degree. Some of you may wish to continue immediately, and that would be an entry into a master's programme. A master's programme, you can specialise in an area that's of huge interest to you and then you can enter into a PhD. So there's many opportunities available to students once you have your undergraduate degree in psychology and if any of you have a quick look at uh, indeed.com last week alone there was 123 applicants for jobs in psychology on Monday alone so there's huge career opportunities in the field of psychology. It's only a fate of the tide. Be careful with